All right, guys, this is going to be relatively quick. What did I do? Well, I took the swirl port cutaway head, and I grabbed a completely stock exhaust port, and I cut it for a 1.6 standard valve job angles. And then we flow it just like it is. The rest of the port is completely stock. Now, these were cleaned up by the nice man that donated them to that project. So I just had to get the dust and stuff out of them put a 1.6 valve in it and see what we did. Now if you want to compare what they do to a completely stock port with a 1.5, you can go back in the uh, TBI archive of, well, I don't know, 50 or so videos and the very first one is a completely stock exhaust port. It's an end port, it doesn't have the double crossover, so it's a better port. And the reason I'm even doing this is I want to do throat experiment. Now, is this the same port as the Dart 165s? It is not. But I'd like to do some work on it, waste a whole day if I have to, and see what we can do out of this. Now, the first cut is this right here, and we have flows to show this. It's only going to take a minute or so. And then I'm going to do my radius into this. Now, when I do my radius, the short side will be touched a little bit. There's not really much I can do about it. You can see right now we have a super sharp edge, and then it goes into the short side radius. You'll see, uh, you'll see what that does to our, our air speeds. Kind of interesting stuff. Now, I remember when I was a kid and I went to get my first set of heads cut for bigger valves and I was talking to some old some old timers like don't waste your time porting those kids just cut them for bigger valves blah blah we're gonna prove that old guy wrong just because I said so okay you can see it's completely stock it still has some some crud in it doesn't matter we're not touching that right now we're going to see just with the bigger valve and then radiusing that out will do. Now, I think I'm going to radius once, and then I'll port the whole thing and I'll flow it again. And then we're going to increase that radius and see what it does. So we're changing our throat, essentially. And we'll find out what that does to our air speeds and our, uh, our flow. All right, guys. Tiny, tiny, short one. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't show you what the flows are for this, the way it is. Pretty horrible, actually. Okay, so it's an end port. 1.6, just seat cut. Pretty terrible, pretty terrible, pretty terrible. Notice what happens right around here. Look at this. It's basically done. At 300, it's kind of done. And the little bit more you get is not much the rest of the way. I think these flowed like 125, completely stock. Maybe a little more than that. It's, it's not a great flowing exhaust port stock, but they tune up really quickly. And you'll see. You'll see. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to keep this page empty. I did, our, I did our air speeds. The top of the port really isn't bad. I mean, as far as side to side, not bad. 300, okay. The middle, you can see we're already having a problem here in the middle of the port. 316, 264, low, really low. It's actually better here than the Dart 165s are done up. All right, we're fast. This whole side's basically fast. Okay, we're going to see if we can improve that. I'm just left the spot here so we can uh, add some numbers on the next, the next cut. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.